Hey everyone, and welcome to another video about Simovations. I'm Simovations. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, welcome, please subscribe. If you missed last week's video, there'll be a link in the description down below. So, today we're going to be kicking off the festive season with a holiday decorating video. Let's get into it. So, here we are back in Willow Creek. If you missed last week's video, we did the Pancakes household where we decorated their kitchen and their living room for Thanksgiving. This week we are decorating their living room for Christmas. Um, and we're doing a bit more than just decorating it. We are painting the walls and installing a fireplace. So, as you guys can see, I started off basically just trying to move, like to, I took off all the curtains uh, just to try and open up the space to see what I can work with. Um, and then I placed my Christmas tree. I emptied that space where the chess table was because this I needed this to be where the tree goes. This is what I wanted. Then this back wall I would put this rock wall feature wall on because of the fact that I want, kind of was thinking about putting the fireplace there. Um, and just I knew I wanted a fireplace in this house, but I wasn't 100% certain where. Now I have put the fireplace here in the past when I worked in this house. But this time I just didn't put the fireplace there because of the fact that it just didn't work for me in this space. So that's why I took out that whole media unit uh, and I put the fireplace there by where the TV goes. Now, this is a house that I do love working with and I do want to, in the new year, actually work on this house basically, renovate it from top to bottom full. But for now, that's, this is what we're working with. So, as you can see, I basically started off the painted the walls. I did it on a, like a blank canvas. I painted them. I do will be painting them again later in the video because it, the white just doesn't work for me. But for now, it works while I'm trying to actually work in with the theme that I've gone with. Which, if you can see the tree, I went with the green tree, and the decorations on the tree are red and like red, white, and green. Uh, and there's hints of gold in the space. So that's kind of what I'm going with. So that's why I kept a white wall to begin with, but I do change it in the end. Another thing I just want to bring up while we're building or while I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, and uh, in this video, you will notice the, well, in the before and after video, you will notice that there are these curtains that appear at the top of the walls above the curtains I've placed. I have looked at them in my in the Sims views and everything and they just seem I cannot get rid of them they're not they're not there when I look at them or when I go into a different camera mode in the build mode but they're there when I view them through the Sims eyes and I do not know how to get them or get rid of them they're not on the top floor they're not down here they're just there when you're looking so I don't know so as you guys can see, I put these garlands over the archways, um, which is something I desperately want to get rid of, but I'm not getting rid of now. Uh, I put the uh, garlands over the archways, which one thing that drives me nuts about those garlands is that they're placed under curtains. And they're not actually curtains because they're not something that if you put them on a window, you can close. They are a garland that's decorative. So why are they not put under wall decorations? Why are they put under curtains? I do not know and I will never understand that. So, that's just me venting. <laughs> Sorry. So, here we are just placing garlands and I put these wreaths in and I put these garlands over the walls. I really like using those ones, especially when decorating, because they're actually quite full. They've got other ones that aren't as full, they're actually quite um, thin, but yeah, are they... These ones I love using because they're full. Then you can see here I'm putting in the presents on either side. That's kind of the reason I really wanted to utilize um, that space for the tree. Because I really wanted to put the presents to surround the tree. Because it just made it that much more festive in that space. You guys can count how many times I say festive in this video. <laughs> so as you guys can see, I took out those chairs. I do replace them with other full, like those high back chairs because of the fact that they just look more cozy. That's one thing I do like in a space. Um, I don't, like I like modern contemporary looks, 
but I really like it if the space is cozy. If it's really nice, they've got soft furniture. If it's nice and cozy, that's all I'm looking for, especially in a house for Christmas. So then I use these end tables um, to put more decorations on. And I use these ones because of the fact that they actually look like a table that they would have gotten from family members like that she would have gotten this from her her gran um and you know eliza is the kind of woman who would utilize older furnishing like stuff that's got a story behind it and stuff that's passed down from her gran but she's got the media units and she's got the bed frame that her gran had that she wanted to gift her and yeah so then as you guys can see i'm busy i changed this tree i wanted to see this other tree but i just wasn't a fan of the colors and i didn't like the fact that it didn't light up so then i'm working on i wanted to put a coffee table in the middle here just because of the fact that in this home because of the fact that it's going to be for christmas and they're going to have family over i thought to myself if they can have family come over um, and they've got a nice big coffee table they can play board games on in the living room by the fireplace and they can have a place where they can put their drinks while they're there and they can also bring in their like when they're opening presents they can also move some of the presents into the middle there so they can sit around on the couches and open their presents that's kind of the idea of the table then at this very point i was thinking to myself okay i want to put a rug but i'm only going to use something that's festive something from the seasons or holiday kit and my brain was like, there's nothing here. Let me go with this one. I don't know what I was thinking. Literally, I was like, th that's pretty much what I was thinking. I was thinking, this is nice. I don't know. Yeah. So then basically just trying to pick up all of the, trying to find more stuff for decorations. As you guys can see, I'm busy just filling up spaces with decorations at this point. Just whatever I can use. The snowmen, I do like that touch because of the fact that they're just something that it's basically bringing the outdoors inside so you can enjoy the snow but while being warm you won't really enjoy the feel of it but you can enjoy the sight of it so and the fact that they light up is just another bonus of something that's decorative and lights up and festive so yeah then as you can see those are the chairs i brought in they just look cozy um and i really like the high backs of them then I changed some of the presents because of the fact that uh, some people like families will have presents that are all one wrapping paper just so it's uniform uh, these would be the presents that are currently sitting behind me um, but I left in some of those presents there that are not the same package it was wrapping paper because of the fact that not every present will be the same wrapping paper you're not going to get presents from other, another family that are the same wrapping paper that you've got that's just not logical so <laughs> that's why i just wanted to add in the keep those different ones as well then i just added more garlands all around the room just wherever i could and as you can see i brought in this brown tone on the walls just because of the fact that it kind of warms up the space a lot more so you've still got the white in the room but it's not so stark white it's white features in a room that's brown and the brown walls actually also tie in or like link in the stone wall quite nicely then i utilized this sectional sofa that i love using from dream home decorator because of the fact that you see couch you can utilize in any different shape that you feel that you feel works for the space now I really like using these U-shaped and L-shaped couches or creating them because of the fact that they add a lot more seating space in a lounge or in a living room than most chairs and couches. Yeah. So.
that's it for this week's video if you get like this video give it a thumbs up and if you like this kind of content subscribe for more awesome content like this uh and press that notification icon down the bottom to be notified every time i post a video um i will be bringing you guys more christmas content this december um yeah i'll see you guys next week bye